I hope you save room for dessert. What the hell is that supposed to mean? For dessert, I'll have dinner again. So the more you eat a a food that you really like at the beginning of the meal, after a while, you'll start to find it less pleasant. And that means that the reward value of that food, the hedonic assessment of that food is less pleasant. And then if someone comes along and offers you a different food, perhaps a dessert, then you will have room for dessert because you may have uh, switched off of the hedonic uh, assessment of the savoury food. As omnivores, we have to eat a variety of foods. So at one level, when one food is consumed during a meal, we switch off of that food and we start to seek and search out for other foods. So at one level, um, sensory specific satiety is considered to be a driver of variety to ensure that omnivores eat a lot of different foods. The scientific studies conducted by Barbara Rolls shows very clearly that if you feed someone a simple, plain food as a first course and then offer a second course, they will eat modestly. But if you have one course followed by a different course followed by another course, um, or you have access to a variety of foods at one sitting, then this will encourage overconsumption. Food, food, give me more food. In today's society, we have so much access to very cheap foods. We have foods delivered to our door. And there's now a mismatch between the amount of energy that we need to expend to get those foods. We're not hunting and gathering anymore. So there's definitely a sense in which our sensory specific satiety and drive for variety might actually be counterproductive in such an obesogenic environment. So the solution is to eat um, simply and modestly, and it's good to eat a variety, but smaller portion sizes and to have a strategy and a plan in mind. 